Uh, first of all, let us see uh, the statement of this theorem. So I would like to write its statement. Let f of z be an analytic function on and inside of a simple closed curve C. Then integration of that fun is equal to zero. This is the statement of Cauchy integral theorem. So if you look at the statement, there are two things which I would like to highlight. The first thing is the analytic function. And the second thing is the simple closed curve. So this theorem says that if you are given a function and someone say to integrate that function along the curve. So what do you need uh, for the Cauchy integral theorem? If the given curve is a simple closed curve, that is the first thing which you need. That in the question, the curve must be a simple closed curve. The second thing you need is the function, which must be analytic. By analytic function, we mean a differentiable function. If the function is differentiable, that is called an analytic function. So if these two things are satisfied, then we don't need to use the method of our previous classes to integrate that function. We can just write that the integration of that function along that simple closed curve is equal to zero. Now, practically to solve the problems, what we have to do. I will write two points, so you have to remember these two points. The first point is that in the given question, there must be some curve, so you have to draw that curve. The first point is draw the curve C. That is the first point you have to draw the curve on the graph. The second point has two sub points. Now, I will say that if the function f of z, if f of z is in fraction, fraction mean in the form of a by b, that is, I will say that f of z must be in this form. There must be a numerator and a denominator. So we can say that f of z is equal to h of z divided by z minus z. Now like this has two parts. This part is numerator, this part is in the denominator. So if f of z is in the fraction form, in that case, you can see that f of z is not differentiable at z0. If you put z0 here, z0 minus z0 is 0, and anything divided by 0 is infinity. Even if you differentiate this function again in the denominator, you will have z minus z0. And if you put z is equal to z0, you will see that f dash of z0 is infinity. In other words, f of z is, will not be differentiable at z0. So what we have to do? We have to find the roots of this denominator. 
and if these roots are inside the caro then the function is not analytic and we cannot use the cauchy integral theorem if the roots are outside of our given caro in that case f of z must be analytic inside the caro c because the function is not analytic only at that point and that point is not in our domain it is outside of domain so the function f of z is analytic at all points but it is not analytic only at z not so we have to show that z not are all other roots are outside of our domain so if they are outside of domain we will say that f of z is analytic and hence we can use the cauchy integral theorem to say that its integration is equal to 0 we have to do if f of z is in fraction in that case find roots of the denominator and show that they are outside of c so if the roots are outside of c in that case f of z is analytic inside c and hence we can use the cit or we can get another function the other function is if f of z is not in fraction it is not in the form of a by b in that case what we have to do then show that f of z is differentiable and hence if it is differentiable in that case again you can say that f of z is analytic and hence its integration is equal to 0 so to show that f of z is integrable uh, is differentiable you, we can we have learned this thing in the previous classes what we have to do there are several methods the first method you can convert f of z in the form of u plus iota v f of z is equal to u plus iota v and then you can use the um the equation the cauchy riemann equation just like ux is equal to vy and uy is equal to minus vx these are the cauchy riemann equations to show that the function satisfies the cr equations and hence it is differentiable and that implies that the function is analytic and you can use uh the cit the cauchy integral theorem the second method just differentiate the function f dash of z find f dash of z now if there is no point inside c or on the boundaries of c in that case if there is no point inside or on the boundaries of c so that you you have to put that point in f dash of z and you get infinity if there is no such point we will say that f dash of z exists hence f of z is differentiable and thus it is analytic and you can use the cit that the integral must be equal to 0 so now let us solve some example and i will explain that how you can use these points uh to find the integral of some function by using the cit example is integrate the function f of z is equal to sin z divided by z minus 3 along 
the carol c which is a circle of the form z plus 1 absolute is equal to 2 that is the given question we have to find the integration of that function along the given closed carol c okay now look at the first point we have to apply the first point the first point is draw the circle the circle draw the curve so to draw the curve you you must remember that z plus z not absolute is equal to r is the general equation of circle so here r is 2 here the radius of the circle is 2 to find the center always put this thing equal to 0 and obtain the value of z and that will be your center so we have to put z plus 1 equal to 0 now from here we can get z is equal to minus 1 which can also be written as minus 1 plus 0 iota and you know that we can write this thing that this is minus 1 comma 0 so now this is the center of that circle and that one is the radius so let us draw that circle on the graph so to draw the circle on the graph look at here this one is x axis this one is y axis i will say this is x prime similarly this one is y prime this is origin 1 2 and this one is 3 this is origin minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and so on okay now the center is minus 1 comma 0 so you can see the center is here this one is our center i will say the center is here which is minus 1 comma 0 and radius is 2 so on this side it will come 1 2 radius comes up to this point and on this point 1 2 so the radius is 2 i have to draw that circle here so this is my required circle you can see this is our circle its center is at minus 1 comma 0 and its radius the radius r is equal to 2 okay now you can see that if i put z is equal to 3 here this function is not defined at 3 and hence it is not differentiable at 3 so what i have to do let us check that point whether this point is inside in my domain the closed curve or outside so go for point 2 point 2 is if f of z is in fraction like in this one find the roots of the denominator to find the roots of the denominator we have to put the denominator z minus 3 equal to 0 and from here we can get that z is equal to 3 you can also write this as 3 plus 0 iota or 3 comma 0 so now let us indicate this point on the given graph x is 3 y is 0 so look at here origin 1 2 3 my point is here this is my point 3 comma 0 and from the graph we can see that this point is outside of my closed curve so i will say that since z is equal to 3 does not to the closed curve c this implies that f of z is differentiable and hence it is analytic analytic for all points z belongs to that circle 
and therefore by the CIT integration along the closed curve C of the function sine z over z minus 3 is equal to 0 and that is the required solution of that problem. Now look at another example. The other example is again I will say differentiate integrate the function f of z is equal to sine z along the closed curve c which is given by z plus 1 equal to 2. So you can see I, I have a function which is not in fraction and I take the same circle like in this example. So in all question, you must go for the first point. The first point is draw the curve. So we have already done that thing. You can see here. You can draw this circle, which we have done here. This is our required circle. And now what you have to do? Look at the second point again. In the second point, you can see if f of z is not in fraction, then show that f of z is differentiable. So let us show that f of z is differentiable. How we can show that? Just differentiate the function. f dash of z is equal to differentiation of sine is cos, cos z. Now look at here. Now, if I put zero in this function, cos zero is one. If I put any point which is on the boundaries of this circle or which is from inside of this circle, if I put any point here, if dash of that point is not equal to infinity or minus infinity, because we know that the range of cos is minus one and one. So I will say that if dash of z exists, this implies if dash of z exists for all point z belongs to my given closed curve c. And this implies that f of z is differentiable and hence it is analytic. Is analytic. And therefore, by the CIT integration of the given function which is sine z along the closed curve c is equal to zero that is all